Figure Four Radio. 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 Lock it in. 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 Figure Four Radio. Hello everyone, welcome to Figure 4 Radio, it's the Mastermind Only Spring. Today I'm joined by the vulture of valour himself, Jay Garner. Hey man, how's it going? It's all good, mate, you alright? Yeah, I'm not bad. So we're chilling here at Cedar School on training night. Um, yeah, how's things? You you good? I'm, I'm good. Um... I'm a bit wounded after the whole sacrifice ordeal. Yeah, we, do, um, we, do we want to get into that? Are you... Uh, oh god. Uh, <laughs> I'll I'll start, but I might not get to stop. You're you're too young to be in a in a fucking um, retirement man. Well, I, I know it's a retirement from the promotion, but do you know what they didn't even offer me a pension? No, <laughs> over four months. What, what's how, the point? How, in long, a would how long would that last? How long would that last? Oh god. Rest get of my you, life, get you through a weekend, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So I guess. Well, before we get into all that, um, let's let's go right back to the start. Um, how did you discover wrestling as a, an art form and as an entertainment form and as a sport? Like, what, what's your story into getting into it, into actually finding wrestling as, like a, as a start? Story. Yeah, because yeah. um, everyone, everyone. The thing is, everyone can say the best match is, and you'll get the same ten matches or one of each. Yeah. Everyone's first story is different because I used to love. I used to watch WCW and. Um, my favourite wrestler as a young, young child was Tank Abbott. Nobody in the fucking world is going to say Tank Abbott was my favourite wrestler, but he was the first one to have an impact. So these little stories I like. So how, how did you kind of get into it? Who, who grabbed your attention and who, who did you dig as a, um, when you first got into it? Well, I obviously, I started, when I was a really young kid, I played rugby. And, okay, uh, okay. After our matches and everything, there'd always be WWF on the TV inside the clubhouse. And we'd always go in and uh, there'd be like Stone Cold and that. Back in the late 90s, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, one day I stumbled upon WCW. Okay. Which. Oh, you're a WCW kid. Well, I'm a cruiserweight, you know? Yeah. So <laughs> during that time <laughs> yeah. of period, it was like, wow, I compared like to should... WWE, which was. I feel like I should Big tag guys. in Killer Kai Brand, but he's not here. Yeah. He's, <laughs> a, he, he, he's, he's WCW through and through. He's going to love listening oh, really? to this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I loved the cruiserweight division okay. in WCW. Absolutely. Like to the point where I've, 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 I've seen so many of the matches hundreds of times. Like Eddie Guerrero versus uh, Rey Mysterio Jr. Halloween Havoc. Was that the one where Rey was in purple? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that is like, I, I, that, that's just in, imprinted in my brain. I, yeah, can't, yeah. I can't forget that one. Um, but now, when I when I when I was a kid, yeah, I loved it. I, I followed Rey Mysterio up until uh, he lost the heavyweight, the world heavyweight belt uh -huh. um, after the whole Eddie storyline. Okay, uh, was that then, the the thing with the the, the child? The, was it Ray's kid and all? that? Was I was watching during that, but not that one. It was after Eddie had died, and he was like oh, doing it for Eddie. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm um, there. But basically, after that, I I kind of like. I, I kind of fell out of love with wrestling for a bit you know I was a teenager I yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did the things, same thing yeah. I did the same um, and around around 1920 I started like you know looking up again seeing the, how Ray was the age know. 19 or 20 not the year <laughs> no, no 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 yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it was the year yeah. 1920 yeah <laughs> I remember that day so, well. No. So around 1920, yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> you yeah. got back into it. So around the, the age of 19 or 20, <laughs> I got back into it. Um, I I started looking up, you know, my old favourite wrestlers, and I yeah. thought I'd never actually looked up British wrestling, and I've okay. heard a lot of black okay. about it. So I looked it up. Um, after looking that up for a while, found out about you know Will Ospreay, Marty Scurll, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Martin Kirby, El Ligero those guys the uh, cornerstones of British wrestling yeah yeah, yeah. The, the the big guys in, in British wrestling uh, even like T-Bone and stuff like that yeah really enjoyed watching T-Bone to be honest R still do you know yeah but, um, yeah and uh, one day I just thought you know I'll, I'll look up British wrestling in Milk Keynes I found a company yeah. I went the very next day just like that been doing yeah. it ever since nice yeah so was that the old company in were you training in Wolverton was it yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah we won't talk too much we about, them, we but, talk um, about that yeah so oh, what, God, but what was guy. it what was it like for you walking into the, that room for the first time and because did, did you do, did you have a lot of friends that, that were into wrestling growing up none at it, all yeah <laughs> same I, I was I was like it was my, my thing and nobody yeah. else's yeah straight so up. what was it like walking into a room with f literally full of people that all dug it and well no you know what actually a lot of the guys I walked into that room and that were there were uh, Vinnie Cray, yep. Danny Mayhem, uh, 
Chase Williams, Huss Malone. Those guys were there when I when I started. They yeah. were in that room the very first day I came. And uh, do you know what? <laughs> Nobody spoke to me. <laughs> okay, okay. Not a single person in that room Cold. said hello, nothing, Jeez. nothing at all. And it wasn't until I kept going back. I went on my own, you know, I just yeah. got on with it, sat in the corner, got on with it, wanted to do what I wanted to do, you know? And it was about three weeks in, uh, Kira Fox. Okay. She was the very first person to come up and talk to me after training like, yeah, you did really three well. Three weeks like, in. Yeah, three weeks Jesus. in. Jesus. Yeah, three weeks Hustle, in. Hustle, fucking, what the hell, man? What's, I, Danny, what's going on? So he's, they've always been dicks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's in their, in their blood. Even in to this blood. day, like, I'm still suffering for their shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From day one, Christ. it's just been riding you and, yeah. Oh, but yeah, no, I'm... So where, how, how long ago was this that you was, like, when, did, when was your first session, like, training and stuff? How, how far back are we going now? Just over two and a half years. Jeez, because I, I think I, would, I was first aware of you when, kind of, everything went tits up and then the, the phoenix rose out of the ashes and um, yeah. Jury's in started redoing wrestling again. Yeah. Um, so I think that was my, that was the first time I was really properly aware of, of you as an in-ring guy. And I'm just going to add this, under completely different um, control, under completely different yeah, yeah, owners, yeah. completely different brands. Of brand. course, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, everything so so was so the the first time I asked you was the battle royal on the very first kind of it was like hope mk wasn't it that yes, was the, name. So yeah. the hope yeah. mk rumble was the first time i saw you have you been in matches before then was that or was that that was my very first show ever as ever. in uh, wow never okay. gone out in front of a crowd before nothing jeez and then you went on and won the won the, the rumble you were there weren't you i, I, I was yeah. there i was there me and uh, me and naz came and watched do you remember um there was no entrance music because we didn't have that kind of equipment at yeah, that time. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 yeah. Yep, yep. There was no entranceway. It was a door and a ring. Yes. And it was a door at the back corner and you just came out. And it was all those really big round tables. It looked like a wedding reception with a wrestling ring set up. Do you know what happened? Is Bizarre. The night before, someone had had a... Uh, I think it was a wedding reception. Okay. <laughs> and uh, They just left it. Basically, we didn't have a lot of time when we got there. And it was a case of, right, so do we make sure the ring is perfectly safe and all this? You know, because we were new. We're not that used yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah. Or do we spend our time putting away all these fucking tables? Yeah. yeah. So the tables got left out. It was, it was, <laughs> it was a weird atmosphere. But I say me, me and Naz were sat there and we were like, this is really... Because there was like... Not, not only was like the ring fire, but there was a whole huge table in between us and then the ring again. So we were like miles back. That's it. That's um, it. it and was the awful. room wasn't... It, I mean, it was, it, there was a crowd there, but it wasn't like packed crowd. So there was a lot of empty air, I guess. There but, was, yeah. Um, so what was it like going in and winning that first match? Like, did, obviously you must be nervous, right? Like, or well, he's like, nah, it must you, ride. If you remember, obviously we had no interest music and stuff. And when I came out, we had the most unenthusiastic announcer ever. It was literally who like, who was the announcer? I can't even. Remember. I've never seen him again. Um, I have no idea who. I'm it trying was. to remember who it was. But um, it wasn't Quinlan, was it? No, 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 no. That's what I mean. It's no one that I know. I, I. How, I'm trying to. Oh no, no, was it someone from Hope Up North, and he come down to do it because he was the. He might have been yeah. actually, but I haven't seen him since. To yeah. Be honest, at any Hope shows. Wow. But um, yeah, he had this unenthusiastic, unenthusiastic announcer that was just like, and the next contestant, Jay Garner. And it was it was awful, it was awful. Um, and then uh, and then I literally came to the ring no crowd work because i was terrified yep. absolutely none i didn't look at anyone else i just walked to the ring i got in the ring and i started doing my stuff as soon as i was in there i was comfortable yeah yeah. it was just and, and then, I, I almost can't believe that was your first time in in a mat like that was that that's impressive if, like to be honest like that was i've always had pretty good athleticism um, yeah i suppose yeah well, yeah because you're playing rugby and stuff so do you, do you think that playing rugby and all that like so you, do you be into sports and, and or is it just rugby well when i was a lot younger uh when i was like five six maybe seven ish uh as i said i was watching Rey mysterio and that and all of my mates we all had trampolines and a lot of them weren't oh, okay, into yeah, wrestling yeah. but they were like yeah let's do wrestling and i actually remember one time i f i f u'd sorry i a aid <laughs> for the younger generation i a aid yeah uh, i aid my mate through the trampoline because uh the trampoline had a little hole in it oh shit. and as he came down in it it went, just went, just went <clears> through <throat> and then straight through and hit the floor did you hear the kai Payne podcast we did no. Did you hear about he, he had he had oh, what was it called? Was it um it was something tram it was he had his uh, there was a there was a, a proper promotion or like a a federation they had going. I think it was it was some extreme trampoline wrestling or something. Sorry Kai for, for getting that wrong. <laughs> he actually had his own little federation with his mates. Um what did, was it? Did you guys have one? Royal Wrestling Federation. <laughs> 
<laughs> at least it doesn't have the word that trampoline it. in it. It was RWF. <laughs> wow. Wow. But so, so actually, you, you were kind of taking it seriously from a young age, I guess. Well, do you know what's yeah. funny is we were like, there was there was three of us involved in this whole <laughs> company, quote, unquote, <laughs> that we'd made up. The Fed. The Fed. We actually tried to contact an indie promotion in wow. America <laughs> to try and do a crossover <laughs> with, no, and I mean like a real federation, like with adults okay. and yeah, stuff, yeah. like professional wrestlers. What, as in like to a, a, a crossover? So they send some talent <laughs> over and fly you out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Did they get back to you? No. <laughs> um, no, they didn't. Um, we sent them a few videos, but... Um, they never got back to you. Yeah, they weren't uh, very impressed with us wow. at that point. Wow, <laughs> jeez. I can't believe that. That's a shame. We what were well you, into What it. would you have done if some fucking American wrestlers, like, flew over and were like, let's, let's fucking do this, where's your ring? I'd have been huge now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have been a lot richer than I am. Well, maybe, maybe. Um, Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, so um, so the, the Rumble was your kind of debut. I don't think I came to the next Hope Show. There was maybe a gap where I didn't come to a few. Um, what was your kind of first, like, singles, Matt? Or, like non because i always say rumbles don't count as, as yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that's what we they say, are yeah. but they're yeah it's when you have your first one-on-one -on -one or tag team or it's always your first match proper i guess a match where you've got the most of the attention on you yeah, yeah. or so. you actually have some responsibility other than jump over the top rope when you got to exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. um no yeah um my first my first very my actual first ever match was you remember a few months ago we had the uh, Jay Garner versus El Jeff versus Ash Gunn. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was my first match. Oh, okay. originally. Oh, shit. It was that triple threat that we originally did. Okay. Um, and I won. I'm not ashamed to say that things went very wrong during that match. And how how so? Because I don't think I saw it. If I'm being honest, I don't think I was at that show. Well, if I'm being honest, yeah. How? do whatever you want cool cool, cool cool yeah, yeah, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know if we're allowed to say Mate, okay it, yeah so we had a spot um where oh, i can't i can't even remember the full thing but basically there was a spot where uh hefe was in the corner i was on my knees like uh to do that with uh, with ash about a run and jump okay. on my back like, yeah, 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 yeah. Motion. yeah 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 he went to do it we'd run so much running and there were so many lights on at that point um that i'd got so sweaty he slipped as soon as he stepped on my back oh, no. and face planted the turnbuckle oh <laughs> and because because jeff was supposed to move out the way yeah, yeah so he moved out the way anyway looked at ash and was like oh that looks like that. and yeah. then actually went in not like so that he actually face planted yeah he looked like oh damn yeah so okay. uh so jeff literally just like dived over me and went for a roll up <laughs> which is which is but i mean is, if, what that, cover is, is that in that, that that was that all that went wrong well was no that, there was a few other things oh, okay, okay. i can't quite remember yeah, everything yeah. but because i was gonna say if that's all that went wrong that's i'm sure there's that's just one little botch really isn't it well, and, and that's if, that's re that's fairly successful yeah can I say, <laughs> jeff jeff covered up for you so i uh, must admit we did uh we did uh, spend some time get, going through a lot of stuff before. Yeah, that match, which which right? where I say you, if you've well we're in a trip that we got three because Jeff was probably still quite new at that point as well. I'm guessing. Oh yeah, he was new. Yeah, me, yeah. yeah. And Ash would have probably just been getting back like in proper. So so actually, you three were all kind. Of, well, I suppose see, Ash is a weird one, isn't he? Right, because he's not new to it, but he he is he is and he isn't. He's new to the professional side of wrestling. Yes. He's not new to wrestling. Yeah. yeah, yeah, He's been doing it for years. That's it, yeah. And he is an artist of what he does. Oh, yeah, yeah, really 100%, 100%. Is. But, um, no, yeah, he he, uh, he made the transformation from backyard to, um, I suppose you call it indie wrestling. Yeah. Uh, but then say backyard, all the, all the footage I've seen wasn't in a, yeah, it was in a sports hall, which is where we do sacrifice. And no, so well, a lot of the American stuff was outside. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, that's true, yeah, that's true. But, but as far, from what I've seen, there's not an awful lot of backyarding involved in some of backyard wrestling. But Yeah, no, uh, that's what I've seen, actually. I, I mean, I haven't no, really done wrong it. With it, it but, but as yeah. I say, it's, it's a bunch of but guys. it's not that, for me. <laughs> yeah. No? No. Um, You'd rather just put I people do crazy trampolines. spots. <laughs> but I... I what's, what's the craziest spot that comes to mind well, that you've ever done? Not that long ago, I did a shoot at Star Press to the outside. <laughs> where, where was this? And is that, that was footage? A, that was at Apex. That was when I won that briefcase. Oh, um, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. Um, so, I, I, okay, I'm going to cover this up. The shooting Star Press. Yeah. Is it the scariest fucking thing you can do in the ring? Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> if you're going forward, that's that's fine because you can see where you're going. and You can't with this. That's it. It's just, <laughs> you just tuck and hope. Um, well, Will Ospreay, this is something I love to quote. Will Ospreay used to have this, um, this, this, uh, 
what would you call it like a saying i guess okay you know like a yeah. little word play thing and he'd say jump tuck prey yeah yeah, yeah. that's it, yeah that's, that's on t-shirts is. right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah that's what it is it's just, jump tuck prey jesus that's what it is because i think for me and this is the thing as a commentator and obviously i know you guys when the real high spots happen like um like tyvee lee's spanish fly at Pro, like that that i struggle to separate uh, that, that uh, those are the points where i start to stop being a commentator and start to think if he slips right now that's one of my friends fucked in in hospital absolutely that's the thing and, that, and to be honest the shooting stuff rest every, even though i know you can hit it every, that's the thing for me that's where it stops that's where the kayfabe stops and i'm like fuck i hope he doesn't slip like there's not uh, that's maybe the only two it's things true. i can think you and you and tyvee are the only two people that actually genuinely have my heart in their mouth when i think if he fucks this up this is this is bad yeah, yeah. well funny story since i started doing the shit in star press um i've changed the kind of wrestling boots i wear to boxing boots because okay. it has a lot more grip on the box good stuff that's that <laughs> that is good to hear yeah. um so yeah so how how do you discover you can do a shooting you, like i love this story yes. so much i'm so excited because i'm tell thinking it. like never told it i i don't know how i would because <laughs> obviously you have to be up somewhere high and have somewhere safe to land absolutely and how many scenarios are i mean i suppose there's the i've landed on place. my head a lot okay so yeah let's hear it. how do you, how do you discover you can shooting star <laughs> so as i said before big fan of wcw yeah yeah big fan of billy kidman yes me too he was another it was him and ray, uh, the before ray had the mask on exactly or after, was it the um, it, got, it got taken off was it was it the, not the radicals it was the and the, the anim, filthy animals something was like, like that? that i can't because they had remember. conan conan yeah. i was about to say conan and it was when that was on channel five for maybe a two-month stretch it i I, I watched yeah. that that's the only wcw i knew but that's where i saw tank abbott and stuff yeah but, yeah so billy kidman um, um yeah yeah so I've, I've seen billy kidman do it uh back when i was younger i saw um what's his name evan Bourne. evan yeah. Bourne. matt seidel yes. yeah no, sorry, sorry, yeah sorry don't give it it's yeah. matt seidel yeah <laughs> um yeah he is a master of it he is a true artist that is that, that looks beautiful it's, it's yeah. amazing yeah every time i see the shooting star that he did where randy Orton caught him in the arcade oh oh my god that, that was a perfect spot i think that was the timing you couldn't was have gone better i think apart from there's there's that spot there's maybe the rko um with seth rollins yes um that one. Oh um, my god as far as just standalone spots that and the the spear at the tlc match at wrestlemania 17 17 hardy and, edge, and edge. yeah that though there's there's very few spots where the timing and everyone lands safely so you don't think they're dead beautiful that that is one of them for sure it is it's one of those things where you you, you forget about the people hurting each other yeah, for a yeah. second. And you just appreciate the, the timing, the, perfection the that thought just process, done. and yeah, the fact, yeah, 100%. 100%. But uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, we saw all those guys doing the shooting star press, and it's always something I've looked at. I even saw, I remember watching uh, Brock Lesnar mess it up. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Because I actually See, now, do that... Brock Lesnar's style of shooting star press. So, how, how, so styles of shooting, so how so? Like, this is where you know you're a flippy guy. Okay. <laughs> so there's. In, in my head there's two kinds of shooting star press okay off the top right yeah, yeah there's the one where evan Bourne style and the um billy kidman style which is head straight back and you go straight into the arch yeah and you go straight over okay now as far as oh, I'm okay. aware, I, th I think i can see so does brock kind of almost tuck his legs and use that momentum to he tucks it? his legs first and then extends outwards oh uh, okay. that's what i do okay yeah because so I just think it looks a bit more mechanical and a, li a little bit more like you're coming down on yeah, someone yeah, instead yeah, of just than doing just floating nicely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, um, when I I first started off doing standing moonsaults onto a crash mat, no biggie. Loads of people can do that. Uh -huh. um, then <laughs> yeah, I, I did that all the time. Yeah, yeah. Well, 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 <laughs> yeah. Oh, like L. Jeff can do it. Ashley Dunn can do it. Okay, you know, yeah. Tyler Lee can do it. They can. It, I, I have that's, again. That I have no idea how I'd ever start to learn how to do that. <laughs> oh, you just kind of got to go. Yeah, why not? Fuck it. If I break, <laughs> yeah, if I break my neck. Pff, yeah, fine. yeah. Um, so you started off with that. I started off with that. Went on to doing what's called a red star press, which is Ashley Dunn's move um, and Osprey's move. This is a run and shoot and star press. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, you kick your leg up like you're kicking a football and jump at the same time and just land, just float over. Yeah, yeah easy land. peasy. Yeah, I started doing that, red, and I managed star, to I do to one. that red star press. Red yeah, star press, that's yeah. a good name, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So I managed to do one of those in training one time, and Paddy Townsley, Gene Money. Yeah. Um, he turned around to me. He was like, "That was really good. You should do that off the top rope." <laughs> and we had a ring behind him. Yeah, a lot in training, and I just looked behind him, looked at the ring, looked how high it was. And I thought, "Now you're right, mate." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's cool. It's yeah. cool. 
But then I started going to a gymnastic centre with a foam pit and all that. Yeah, I've seen footage of this, this place, yeah, yeah. I started uh, perfecting my moonsault, which, if I'm honest, I have a very nice moonsault yeah. now. I don't think I th but then you've got a shooting star, so who, f who the fuck needs a well, moonsault yeah, well, now, Well, yeah, Tyvee's right? got a moonsault now, That's so true, I, can't, yeah. I can't show Well, you off, say that, yeah. I think he practiced it three times before the last show, and then it, he landed it the third time and was like, yeah, that'll do. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't know if it's quite his, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I, you know, if he's using it as a finisher, I'm not going to... True. That's, that's, that's very noble. Know. Very noble. But, uh, yeah, I started going to the flippy gym. Started... That's what we call it. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Flippy gym. Um, and I just I just thought I'd give it a go one day. And the podium that I was doing it off um, doesn't have any bounce to it whatsoever. Yeah. It's just... So, but the turnbuckles do, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. they're very springy. Obviously, I've never been up there, so... Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, the, the podium was, like, dead flat. It was, like, jumping off a table or yeah. the floor. Like, there was no extra bounce or nothing so i managed to do it on that loads of times loads of times kept doing it i must have done it like 80 times before i'd ever done it in a ring wow but that's i guess a safe way to go right yeah well yeah i didn't want to die yeah <laughs> yeah of course uh so i did that and then one day i i do you know when it was it was the hybrids um it was the hybrids breakup okay yeah yeah it was yeah. the very first shooting star i did wow and i did it I landed and I it. I think I called that match. I thought, no, I don't know. I did you call did that call match. You did call 100% call that match. You did call that match yep. with, with uh, Harvey. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I remember. Um, yeah. And do you know what? I was, I was so happy with myself because I did it that time and it was okay. But then I had a match against Sam Steele in Luton. Okay. And I did it there. Uh, we were the main event and I did it there and I got it so perfect it was just it just like when i watched it back i just i, I watched it a hundred times it was it was just like right this is this is it this is my finisher yeah, yeah. this is this is what i want to use you know so yeah that's that's that long story of how yeah. i did the shooting star press <laughs> that's that's cool man. I, say, it's, uh, I called you a first shooting star I'm, I'm very happy with that i've also renamed it oh, okay yeah, yeah death star press Death Star, I like that. I'm a big fan of Star Wars. Maybe just Death Star. Yeah, no. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, because you got the press, otherwise it's just, I don't just, know, yeah. yeah, it kind of, I don't know, yeah, because there's Red Star Press, Shit Star Press. Yeah. Might chuck it in there with it, yeah, you know, maybe. why not? Well, I could chuck it in whenever I want. <laughs> if, I, if you pull it off, I can call it what the fuck I want. Yeah, yeah, do yeah, it, do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That's the wank stain right yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, um, Vulture Valor is the nickname. I'm curious, like, where did that come from? Okay, um, so... Is there, is there a big or is it, was it just, I it's, thought it was cool. This is a bit of a story. Okay. It's yeah, not yeah. As, stories are cool. It's stories not are as cool. big as the last one. But um, <laughs> so all my life when I was younger, uh, I don't know why, but my friends have always said that I'm like a bird. Okay. I don't. In the Nelly no. Furtado way or? No, as in, as in, not as in a female, as in an actual animal. No, as in like, I'm very You're like airborne, a bird, you'll only you know. fly away. Yeah, but I can do quite a few bird noises as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to regret saying are, that. You are, you are. <laughs> really? You could do bird noise, like tune it, in, people. It just it, got interesting. Is it whistling or like uh, more as in just noises? <laughs> <laughs> I did not know this when we sat down. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, Pigeon. All right, all right. <laughs> Wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez, this is gonna <laughs> work. I had no idea this would go this way. I'm I, an entertainer. That's yes, what I do. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. So bird, <laughs> bird noises. Okay. So um, <laughs> so one day, you know, for for, <laughs> for ages, I was just Jay Garner, you know, yeah, and I, yeah, yeah. I needed everybody's. Harvey Dale actually turned around to me and said, "Nah, you can do flips. You don't need a gimmick." <laughs> oh, well, that's that then. Yeah. Uh, cheers, a lot Arthur. of other people disagree, so yeah. uh, I decided to go a bit in between and get Monica. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was sending uh, like ideas to Harvey, to Paddy, to yeah. to a bunch of people. Leave them just to think, what, see what they thought. And mm. um, Paddy came out with, uh, "Why don't you try Vulture of Valor?" And do you know what I said to him? Mm? I said, "What the fuck does Valor mean?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. And he sent me the Wikipedia description. Easy enough. I mean, you could have done it yourself, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But Paddy's the kind of person that likes to get a stamp and go. You're a fucking idiot. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I found out it meant bravery and uh, 
You know, and, I guess it, and it rolls off the tongue. It's, it, it vultures the bird. And well, yeah. I thought vulture at first was very heelish. You know, that tell me honest, I thought that as well, which is why I was like, okay, it, it is like, damn heelish, isn't it? Because vultures, vultures they, are they, bad people. They they pick the carcasses. They they don't yeah. they don't do the hard work. They just no. pick the bones with what's left. Exactly. It but seems... then I guess if you're the brave one, then I guess you might. Well, be the I'm, vulture I'm the that different goes vulture. And, yeah. You know, I'm not your average vulture. You'll go down and fuck up the buffalo yourself. First of all, <laughs> vultures don't normally do flips. No, but they are. The, I th- I'm already thinking they're the highest flying birds. That is there something about? I'm, I'm told that? that's true. Yeah. But that, you don't know who told me that is Google, so I'm not really sure. Well, no, I try. You know, I think. I think. Well, if I think it as well, if I've somehow got that, oh, yeah, it well, might be right. There's well, two people that are kind of on the set. Yeah. I can't remember it now. But hundred percent of this room right now somehow got to that same conclusion. A hundred percent people. Stats don't lie. Ask, ask, ask Los Palominos. Hundred percent of this room. Both agree with that fact. That's so therefore, it. Trust yeah. me, we've got graphs and shit. We've, we've got it covered. <laughs> covered. Yeah, no. Um, it, it was a bit of a weird nickname. But you, but you, you obviously stuck with it. You doing it? Well, I thought to myself, the one thing I've always thought is a. Uh, well, actually, this this comes from my entrance music. Where this idea come from is uh, when I started. I've with, got into Bring Me the Horizon through your entrance. Do you know music, how many people that said song, that? That song. That song. Mums have come up to me. <laughs> Bring me Horizon. If you're listening to this, give me a deal, yeah. yeah because need it. honestly. Mums have bought your album because of me. Whole album. The whole album. I mean, I just put the YouTube video on one of my playlists. No, that I always listen one of them, to. But... One of the kids has actually gone into uh, H- HM. Well, there's not HMV. The, there's not the record shops left. No, yeah, yeah no, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's bought, gone bought into HMV album. and actually made them buy the album. Yeah, that is, I mean, it's, it's a fucking cool song. I love it. Like well, it, it, the lyrics really spoke yeah. to me about it being really facey and stuff. But um, people always said to me like, because a lot when I started, a lot of people used it around the indie scene, especially in Britain. And I mean, like, I'd been to like four different shows where I'd heard someone yeah. else with my music. And uh, you always see your music. It's not bringing, yeah. It's, it's money. <laughs> you you own that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, no, no. Don't <laughs> we, sue should me. We shoot, should we shoot on the other three people that use it? <laughs> don't sue me. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. So uh, everybody told me like, oh, that's like very generic face music, you know, and stuff mm-hmm, like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, like, even when I, I. I would go out, my music would hit, and I was about to go through the curtain and stuff. I can hear other wrestlers behind me going, oh, another generic yeah. face, you know, stuff like that. And it's just like, well, now, nobody else uses that music. I've and never now, heard it. You, the only place I've heard that song is through your entrances. Brilliant. I've, I've never heard it anywhere else, legit. Really? <laughs> yeah. Do you know how many people Snapchat me? Even randomers, they just Snapchat well, me like, hear oh, it. your music's on the radio when you're coming out. It just came on in top, man. Even that, I've had <laughs> I've, I've had videos of people like doing the little vulture pose as nice. the music hits. Like, nice. Yeah, I know. It's, it's been pretty... I mean, people are quite supportive, really. Yeah, that's I good, like, man. I like the people. Yeah. The peoples is good peoples. Yeah. Um, okay, last thing, so I think we're... We're, we've got f- four minutes until the school's closing. Um, I want to talk to you about that match with Will Ospreay. Ooh. I will, all day long I'll tell you that Sacrifice 4 has been the best full show that I've ever commentated from top yep. to bottom. The, 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 the standout match, you and Will Ospreay. Um, <laughs> I don't, well, it's not that people weren't expecting it. They, obviously we, we know you can do your stuff in the ring, yeah, but yeah. I think, I'm not sure if anyone was, if we were ready for that level of match, I guess. Because <laughs> you beat the shit out of each other. Like, you oh, were beat up after that match. After that. that was it was a, a funny yeah. fact. This is something you're not going to hear anywhere else, and this is something Will came up to me after and told me himself. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we had we had a yay boo spot where it was yay boo yay boo. He yep. got a few boos on me because he's he was heel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Which is still is weird to say he's one of the. I just can't see heel Will Osprey, but well, it's because he was heel in New Japan. True. At the time. Yeah. So you got to go with it. But um, yeah, uh, he gave me three strong stiff shots, which. Trust me, yeah. they're stiff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially like he's been talked with all these Japanese people now. That, he's, yeah, he's, yeah, he's that's stiff it. as shit. <laughs> um, he gave me these three stiff shots, and then he spat in my face. Um, now, don't get me wrong; it's all you know, men weapon. It's all yeah, planned and yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And the idea was, I was supposed to give him this one massive like bang knockout punch after yeah, and I give him a forearm. Yeah. Now I clip his jaw with the end of my elbow. Okay. And legitimately knock Will Osprey out for about a second. Shit. Yeah. So, so, you know, I took. I, I could see I'd done it a bit wrong. I took my time getting down there, made sure he was alive. He kicked out. The next spot was a cheeky Nando spot. Yep. Hooked me up for the cheeky Nando. We were talking about this on the way to the on the way here actually in the car. He like, pulled about my head in and he fucking kicked the shit out of my face. So was that and was that was that the receipt for the forearm or? I think? believe so. Yes. When he pinned me after that. He looked at me and went, 
Are you alive? <laughs> and I just went, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because but the thing is, I think that I mean <laughs> almost everything looked brutal in that match. It was, it was, it was very brutal. And, and the, I the, loved the other it. thing is, there was the shots, but there was the moves left, right, and center. There was Ooh. what was it like to be in? Because obviously, for us watching it, we can love it. Was it? What's it like to be in a match like? Because was that a different match to every other match you've ever had? It looked it that match. Yeah. Um, put it this way, I've got most of my. I haven't been able to get all the footage, but I've got most of my matches on at home on my hard drive yep, on my computer yep, or whatever yep. I've got them all in this file saying my matches and then there's this other file next to it saying <laughs> the Will Ospreay match so it was it was a big one for you and it was different for you I guess he is one of my icons he is yeah, someone yeah, yeah. I've if I'm honest I've based a lot of my character off of him I've based it my moves off of him uh, it's not that I've stone cold copied him don't get me wrong no 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 I, I, would um, never, I, I, could, I don't see that a lot but. of the moves he has actually taught me and said okay. you can use that you know cool. like the same cool. he's done with Ash like, yeah like what, what's, he, what, what's he said that spring kick okay oh yeah, yeah 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 not allowed to do his Spider-Man thing on the floor with his hand up like the, okay. the Rick yeah. Shale spray thing not allowed to do that allowed <laughs> to do a backflip yeah. but not allowed to do his pose but I just do the vulture one yeah, anyway. yeah. You, you got a better one yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, um, that match was unreal for me. That match was, uh, on it, honestly, because when I found out that I was facing Will Ospreay, yeah. the week before was the what culture where the ring broke. Oh, okay, yeah. And was it? Oh, must have, yeah. yeah. Was that was it around the same time? That was that was literally the week before because I, I went, Jeez. Yeah, saw I mean, that happen. Yeah, yeah. It was still the best match of the night, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 By and, far. And then on the Friday, I got told, you're facing Will Ospreay in, uh, tomorrow. Who's just torn the house down again with uh, with Ricochet with only two ropes. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and quite frankly, uh, the, the thing is that I didn't get told. It got announced it was to the public. Yeah, uh, yeah. And that's oh, how that? I found yeah. out. Oh, wow. They told me by releasing... Uh, uh, the fans found out before I did. I got yeah. tagged in it after, like, my actual profile. I was like, whoa. And literally, the, one, the only thing I said, everybody was commenting on it, like, wow, amazing, all this. And the only, I commented on it going... Fuck! <laughs> oh my god! I better get my cardio up. Yeah. <laughs> um, as far as the match itself, how much of it was Will and how much of it was you? Like, did he? Was it? Was it just like, all right, kid, this is what we're gonna do? Or no, he uh, he was very he was very he wanted my input a lot. Cool. Um, he 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 was great to plan with. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's he's actually taught me something from planning. He does this thing where he'll plan his match with you. And then you each go off and get changed and whatever, and you have a little break and yep, yep. do your thing. And uh, he'll stand there and he'll go duck a line, yeah. And he'll, yep. he'll he'll motion out the moves like duck a line, do this, do that, and that. And he'll do it to himself and he'll just go through it, through it, round and round in his own mind. Yeah. And now I do that. Cool. And it really does help, you know, when you can. But he's also taught me um, one thing that he was upset with me about is that when he did punch me, sometimes I would go down too soft for him. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, it's Will fucking Osprey. I don't want to undersell him. Yeah. So he was a bit like, you know, stand your ground more. You know, okay. Don't yeah. don't just take that down. But so, if he's actually like laying them in hard, I like, I'll say, like, <laughs> <laughs> say, I'd, I'd be unconscious after each one. I don't know about no selling, but well, the worst part is I was battered after that yes, match, yeah. and then the following week on the Tuesday, we had a training session. Uh, a seminar with Will Osprey. Yeah, yeah. And guess who he picks to come and demonstrate all of his strikes on? Was it? Well, I suppose he trusts you now, right? Well, that's the funny thing because he brought B. Yeah. yeah. So B was doing the strikes on my misses. Okay. And he was doing the strikes <laughs> on me. I'm seeing. I'm seeing a, a, a intergender tag team match on the line in that case. Maybe. Let's get that, <laughs> let's get that booked. Book it. <laughs> yeah. Hustle if you're listening. Um, so yeah, sa sacrifice. Um, we're, I know. I know. We're now. We're now technically over time, but. Um, are, you, are, you, are you enjoying Sacrifice? I mean, I don't for a second believe that you, that's the last we'll see of you. I think you're going to pop up somewhere, right? You've got to. For now, please. I'm, I'm enjoying please, my please time. Please don't leave it. <laughs> <laughs> for now, I'm enjoying my time. Um, you know, uh, I need to get back at the gym properly. I need to I need to get back on healthy eating. I need to stop smoking. That's what I need yeah, to do. Yeah. That's, that's a bad it's one. It's a big thing. It's a big thing. Um, but yeah, no. Um, do you know what I'm going to do? Yeah. I'm gonna go on all day. I'm gonna go Thought Park. I'm gonna Cool. I'm gonna enjoy my chill time. Good yeah, man. I'm Good gonna man. I'm gonna chill out and just enjoy myself. Good stuff. Uh where can people find you on social media, plug stuff and things and Oh god, I'll have it? to get it up. Here we go. <laughs> Phrasing <laughs> Don't know my own social media stuff. Alright, so um on Instagram I'm Jay Garner Wrestler. 
Didn't even need to look at your phone. For no, me. Didn't, no, didn't. Not that one. No. no, no. Uh, <laughs> on Instagram, I uh, no, that's that's the one I just done. Yeah, yeah. On uh, on Facebook, I am just Jay Garner. Um, you may have to search for a few, but there is literally like three Jay Garners in the world, so wow. you won't have trouble finding me. And on Twitter, I am Jay Garner nineteen ninety three. Cool. What ma- any matches coming up or any promotions you're working for? Um, you, you did. Did you mention this Italy outside? Yeah, I'll, I'll be going back over to Italy in November. Rising Sun promotion. Uh, where, no, where, that's no. actually for FCW. FCW, which is in association with Rising Sun. Which, oh, cool. cool. Which also worked yeah, with yeah, Ashley yeah. Dunn, and I'll see, I know that I'll see Josh Bodum over there. Maybe Chris Tyler. Cool. Uh, but yeah. Um, any, any other? You got any any bookings at the moment? There's a uh, coming up. Apex. Um, there I was going to be at a carnival in Luton, but I'm afraid it's been cancelled because oh. it's had some negative review or something. But, um, <laughs> I want to act surprised, but I well, somehow can't. Uh, yeah, you also see me and Kai as the aerial hybrids. This I need to see actually because uh, what is it? It's a special reunion. Uh, yeah, that's that's actually happening at Apex, yeah. which is the next show, which is a aerial hybrid reunion. Uh, but you can also see us actually as a regular tag team. Okay at new force wrestling in london cool uh i don't believe we're back there until around november again as well but uh yeah as i said we're gonna be taking some time off doing some holidays no worries man well jay garner thanks very much for joining us thanks mate. I've, um, lo- I've loved it good luck for the future mate you too man cheers Thank you. buddy bye there we have it folks the vulture valor himself jay garner who knew he was so versed in bird noises <laughs> very uh, very revelationary stuff this week on figure four radio that is all we have time for if you don't already give us a follow on twitter on instagram or on facebook go find us at figure four radio um follow me on twitter at the mastermind that's at f4r underscore mastermind uh, all those uh, all those follows and shares and, and tweets are, are always appreciated um of course we have our website figure four radio dot weebly dot com um and of course you can always subscribe um to get our updates as far as our podcast on itunes on stitcher on podomatic pretty much everywhere you get your podcast from we can be found there um and of course there's the youtube page youtube.com slash f4 tv every single thursday we upload uh, an archived episode to make room for these new ones so uh, yeah they're taken down off of the itunes off of the podomatic uh, podomatic easy for me to say um and put straight up onto youtube for you to enjoy um, and so we can make a little bit more room for these uh, these new ones coming your way um and last but not least you can find us at the following shows if you are a wrestling promoter you want commentary adding uh you need some interviews and stuff like that we are expanding we are getting bigger and better at this every single week you can find us at uh sacrifice pro wrestling on august the 20th that's a sunday that's in Leighton buzzard following saturday the 26th doa wrestling i'll be heading to ipswich for doa and then the following saturday i'll be back in ipswich for the wrestling league uh wrestling doing some really cool things at the moment flash forward to saturday the 16th of september good wrestling um in milton Keynes at the crawford arms i don't think i'm commentating it but i'm going to be there it's going to be an absolute riot of a night and then sacrifice again september the 17th on the sunday uh doa are in cambridge on september the 30th um and then october the first the following night i will be uh, at uh, in swansea for exposure wrestling entertainment that is going to be an absolute right again um, there's a few more sacrifice and doa dates coming up but also one huge announcement to make um is the uh, the the brand new booking for the mastermind for pro wrestling foxes making my debut there on october the 27th in coventry more news and information on that to come as we find out but yeah please do go and support the wrestling league please support doa please support pro wrestling pro wrestling foxes and as well sacrifice pro uh all doing absolutely amazing things um and yes they are all paying me to say that um but for now <laughs> i've been the master Man Ollie spring next week we will be li- uh, bringing you some live feedback from SummerSlam. it's going to be an absolute wild podcast to record i have no idea what's going to go down but it's going to be an absolute blast and until then we will see you next time on figure four radio